Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Elias. Hello, Ana Maria. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I'm very good, thanks. And you, Elias, how are you today? Pretty good. Pretty good, okay. And Claudia Janet, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Ana Yancy. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hey, how was your weekend? How was your fin de semana? It was great. It was good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good, okay. Ana Maria, how was your weekend? Um, have a nice day. Weekend, have a nice weekend. Ah, okay, excellent. You have a nice weekend, <laughs> okay. And Claudia Janet, how was your weekend? Very, very fine, teacher. Ah, it was fine. Perfect. I I dress. Oh, you rested a lot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Did you enjoy with your family? Yes. Okay. That is important to spend time with our family. Yes, yes. Hello, Soveida. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine, very oh, well. Very well, okay, excellent. And you? I'm perfect, thanks for asking me. So let me ask a question. Um, did you start working on the platform exercises? Did you start working on the platform? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. yes, okay. Do you have any yes. problem? Do you have any problem no. using the platform? No. No. No problem with that, okay. Um, any problem with some difficult exercises? No, no problem at all. No problem. No problem. No, no problem. Por el momento, no. Okay. Perfect then. So let's see. Do you like birthday parties? Do you like birthday parties? Yes, I like. Ah, okay. Do you like candies, snacks, piñata? Champagne, wine. Do you like wine? Do you like champagne? Oh, Hello, ja Hello, Jacqueline. Welcome to the class. Oh, just on Christmas. Solo en Navidad tomamos wine, champagne. Just on Christmas. Okay, for your birthday too, right? Para el cumpleaños también, right? Una botella grande. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, okay. Uh, to, tonight we're going to talk about birthday plans. So, su cumpleaños ya pasó o todavía no ha pasado? Lo están esperando todavía. Todavía no. Ya pasó. Pasó. Ah, bueno, pero ya casi, ya casi viene el próximo año. ¿verdad? 2022. So, we are going to have a great birthday party. Tonight, we are going to talk about that, birthday parties. Oh, birthday plans. Birthday plans, that is the topic for tonight. So let's start with it. So let's start with tonight's class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thanks a lot for your punctuality. 
And I hope tonight we have a great time learning this beautiful language, which is English. And we get some fun and we learn a lot. And we're going to start right now. This is the topic for tonight. You are going to see it in a second. So birthday plants. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Yes, a second, it is still charging. So, birthday plans. What is happening with this? Here we go. So, birthday plans, welcome to your class number three. This is our build transition number three. So, here we go, birthday plans. So, let's start with this vocabulary. Uh, what is the meaning of this in English? What's the name of this in English? Can you tell me, please? Hey. Cheesecake. Cake. Oh. It's a birthday cake. It's a birthday cake. Yeah. And what about this one? Party. Party. <laughs> no, it's a party. It's a mariachi. Live music, music en vivo. ¿Alguna vez les han dedicado alguna serenata? Yes. No. 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 Nobody has dedicated no. a song to you. No. Ah, okay. Ni siquiera la de feliz cumpleaños. Ah, no, ni siquiera el happy birthday to you. Menos en vivo. Bueno. Al teacher, al teacher le dedicaron una vez, pero la rata de dos patas. Esa no. Uy. <laughs> we don't like that song. <laughs> we don't like that song at all. Uh, what's the name of this in English? Balloons. Oh, balloons, right? To decorate. And this one. Champagne. The, oh, delicious champagne. Champagne. And what about this? ¿Cómo se dice brindis, teacher? Ah, toast. T O A S T, toast. Toast. Thank you. And look at this. This is a restaurant or a reception place. El lugar para hacer una recepción. The reception. So here are the names. We have cake, balloons, champagne, lip music, and the reception. In the reception. So let's see the next one. We have this. Present. Gift. Gift. Present or gift. Piñata. Snacks. 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 Snack. Food. And Food. lo que no debe faltar en ninguna fiesta de cumpleaños. Candies. Candies. <laughs> so, present. <laughs> Piñata. Yes. Y los souvenir no, no van aquí. Oh, yes, the souvenir, el recuerdo, the souvenir. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, we can, we can say that, but I didn't, I didn't put it here. Mm -hmm. No les puse acá, pero sí, ¿verdad? En alguna fiesta sí dan, en algo otras no. La mm -hmm. servilleta, en algo otras la servilleta del sándwich tenemos que llevarnos. So, present, <laughs> present, piñara, snacks, food, and candies. So let's see. Uh, ¿Cuáles de estas cosas van a tener en su próxima fiesta de cumpleaños? Food. Food. Present. Present. Piñata. Snack. Candies. In candy, so you say, I am going to have, right? I am going to have candies. I am going to get food. I am going to have a piñata. I am going to get snacks. I am going to get present. Uh, let's see, I am going to have a reception. The first thing, I'm going to have a reception. Uh, we are going to drink champagne. I'm going to decorate with balloons. I'm going to buy a cake. I am going to 
have lead music. So I am going to have a mariachi in my birthday party. So birthday plans. So look at this. In la siguiente conversación, vamos a ver cuáles son los planes. What are the plans of Philip for his birthday? And Angie asked the following question. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. ¿Ya les han contado el happy birthday en el pollo o en la pizza? Yes. 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 And is no. it true that it's so embarrassing? Es verdad it's que very es. Very embarrassing. Yes, it's very embarrassing. Da pena, ¿verdad? Es un poco vergonzoso. Teacher. Yes. The meaning of wait, waiters? Oh, waitress. They are the waitress, the people who is singing. Mm, okay. Meseros, meseros, waitress. Waitress. And any other new work in this? In on new vocabulary in this small conversation, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? What's the meaning of this question? Who knows the answer? What's the meaning of the, that question in Spanish? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Le está preguntando como que si va a ser algo excitante este fin de semana. Ok, thank you. But exciting es emocionante. So are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? You are right. Thank you very much. You were close to the meaning. ¿Vas a hacer algo emocionante este fin de semana? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. ¿Se emocionan ustedes cuando se acerca su cumpleaños? Yes. Yes, yes right. Más si pedimos el regalito en sobre. So, okay. Much more happiness. Mucha más felicidad. Teacher. Yes. Um, ¿Cómo sería para decir este ir a una fiesta? Voy a ir a una fiesta. Sería uh, I am going to go. Yes, I'm going to go to a party, to a birthday party. Uh, thank you. Okay. So, fabulous. Do you know the meaning of this word? Fabulous. Fabuloso. Genial. When is your birthday exactly? Exactamente. ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? It's August 9th, Sunday. Es el 9 de agosto. Y este año cayó en Sunday. What is this day? Domingo. 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 So what are your plans? What are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. What is the meaning of to take me out? Lo va a llevar a comer. Yes. Lo va a llevar a comer. comer. A cenar in this case. Cenar. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Va a ordenar un pastel? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. It's tan vergonzoso, right? So, I need to volunteer to practice. Who wants to be Angie and Philip? Who wants to practice tonight? Say me and your name, please. Le así porque se me pegó un besito. Ana. No. Okay, Ana and Jacqueline. Ana and Jacqueline. Okay, Ana and Jacqueline, thanks a lot. At this time, Ana, you are going to be Angie. And Jacqueline, you are going to be Philip. You can start, please. Okay. 
Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August night, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Uh, well, my friend Kayla is going to take to take me out for the diner. Nice. Is he going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday to me. It's so, it's so embarrassing. No sé cómo se dice eso, teacher. Embarrassing, embarrassing. 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 Yes, embarrassing. it's embarrassing. Yo le iba a ayudar en esa palabra, teacher. Eso me adelanté. Okay. Thank you. It's so embarrassing. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Just this word, dinner, dinner. Take me out for the dinner. Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for the dinner. Nice, is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday. Uh, let's see, embarrassing. Han pasado alguna situación embarazosa? ¿Cuál fue? Do you remember that? Nunca se han caído en público. Nobody. Cuando era una niña. ¿Cómo esa oración? Okay. I felt, I felt, I felt in front of people and it was so embarrassing. So let's continue. Let's go with the next thing. Thanks a lot in this part. No question in this conversation. No, no question. No question. Okay, look at the first one. It's an example of interrupt sentences. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? It's a Okay, thank you very much. Can you listen to me? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. The internet connection is getting slow. So let me share with you again. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. So let's continue. We were in this conversation. Know what is happening with my internet tonight? I'm so sorry. I apologize for this. I hope it don't happen again. Okay, let's continue with the class. Can you tell me if you can listen to me without any problem? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So let's continue with the class. Here we go. We are going to have this small conversation practice uh, with these three questions. So the first one is, are you going to have a birthday party? Are you going to have a birthday party? The next one is, when is your birthday exactly? And what are your plans? So think about your next birthday celebration. Piense en la celebración de su siguiente cumpleaños. And are you going to have a birthday party? That is the first question. What, what is your answer? Are you going to have a birthday party? Yes, I have. Okay, the answer is yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Are you going to have a birthday party? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
Yes, I am. Okay, Catherine say yes, I am. And any other answer? Hello, any other answer? No, I am not. Okay, no, I'm not. The next question is, when is your birthday exactly? When is your birthday exactly? ¿Cuándo es exactamente su cumpleaños? When is your birthday exactly? My birthday is 14, August 14. Okay, you can just say on. My birthday is on August 14, 14th. Okay. Any other answer? When is when is your birthday exactly? My birthday is um September um ninth. On September 9th. Okay, excellent. So when are your plan? If you say yes, yes, I'm going to have a birthday party. So what are your plans? What are your plans for that birthday party? So you say, I am going to have a piñata. I am going to buy a cake. I am going to go to the beach. So let's see the next thing. Don't forget about this question. We're going to have a practice later with this. So thank you. Let's go with the next. Okay. The teacher, le diré algo, pero no sé si está correcto. Okay. Me go out, dinner, my favorite restaurant. Okay, excellent. I'm going to go out to my favorite restaurant. Ah, no, but no, no. Ah, no, es que como la cuestión es que lo que quería decir es que me indrán o me llevarán. Oh, who? A, a cenar a mi restaurante favorito. ¿Quién? Ajá. ¿Quién? ¿Quién la va a llevar? <ríe> ah, sí. <ríe> ah, póngale que mi familia. <ríe> ah, ok, so my family. My family. Okay. Is going, my, my family is going to take me out. He's going. He's ah, going okay. to mm. take me out to my favorite restaurant. Me out. Permítame. ¿Cómo es? My family is going. Is going to take me out. out. To take me. Uh, to tell me out. To take me to out. Take me out. To my to favorite restaurant. Out. To my favorite restaurant. To my favorite restaurant, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. So look at this. Here are some questions and here are the answers. So are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I am going to celebrate my birthday. Si la respuesta es negativa, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They are going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they are going to give me a cake. So, affirmative answer and negative short answer. Affirmative and negative short answer. Are you? You say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is Kayla or is she? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. 
are they? Are they? Are they going to sing to you? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. So I need two volunteers in the first, please. Who wants to ask the question and who wants to answer? I need to volunteer. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Sobeida and? Catherine. Sobeida and Catherine. Okay. Um, Sobeida, can you please ask the question? And Catherine, can you please say the answer, please? Okay. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I am going to celebrate my birthday. Okay. Is Carla going to have a party for you? No, she's isn't. She's going to take me off for dinner. Are the winners going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They are going to sing happy birthday. Okay, any other volunteer to practice in this part, please? If not, I'm going to choose someone. Your teacher. It is teacher. Anna and Cynthia, okay? Anna and Cynthia. So, okay. Anna, can you please read the question and Cynthia the answer, please? In negative. Yes, in negative, please. Okay. Are you going to do anything this weekend? No, I am not. I going to stay home. Okay. Is Kyla going to have a party for you? No, she is not. She is going to take me out for dinner. Are they weren't going to sing to you? No, they aren't. But they're going to give give me a cake. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Anna and Cynthia. Thank you. You did an excellent job. So thank you very much. So let's see the next thing. My next birthday party plans. Here are some examples of sentences uh, saying the next birthday party plans. The first one is I am going to have a party at my house yard. I am going to decorate. I am going to buy some balloons. I am going to buy a cake. I am going to buy some snacks. I am going to invite my family and friends. I am going to have some wine and champagne. I am going to serve chicken, meat with rice and salad. People are going to give me present and good wishes. So look at these plans. The first one, I'm going to have a party at my house yard. What is the meaning of yard, house yard? Do you know the meaning of this phrase, house yard? Patio de la casa. Patio. Excellent, es el patio de la casa. So it's uh, the second one, I'm going to decorate. Decoración. Oh, excellent. Voy a decorar. I'm going to decorate. The next one, I'm going to buy some balloons. Uno, voy a comprar algunos globos. Uh -huh. I am going to bake a cake. Voy a comprar un pastel. Hornear un pastel. Okay, in this case, uh -huh. es hornear. Voy a hornear un pastel. I am going to buy some snacks. Voy a comprar, comprar algunos bocadillos. Excellent. The next one, I am going to invite my family and friends. Yes. And the next one, I am going to have some wine and champagne. Yo tengo vino y champaña. Algún poco, un poco de vino y champaña. Voy a tener a vino y champaña. Okay, algo de verdad, un poco de... I am going to serve chicken and meat. So the main dish voy, will be. Voy a tener pollo. Voy a servir pollo. Carne. 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 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. People are going to give me present and good wishes. Las personas me darán regalos y buenos deseos. Okay, excellent. Eh, buenos deseos and good wishes. Okay, sentence one and two. Who wants to read them, please? I volunteer to read sentence number one and number two. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Cynthia. I am going to have a, a party at my house here. I am going to decorate. Okay, excellent. So at my, at my, at my house yard, a sentence number three and number four. Any volunteer to read them, please? Yeah. Thank you, Elias. I am going to buy some balloons. I am going to buy a cake. Thank you very much, bake. I am going to bake a cake. Bake. Bake. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next two, please. Number five and number six. Anyone in here tonight? Me teacher. Thank you, Miriam. You can start, please. I am I am going to. I am going to buy some snacks. I am going to invite my family and friends. Thank you very much. Uh, I volunteer to read the last three sentences. Me teacher. Thank you, Maria Luz. You can start, please. Hello, Maria, you can start. Okay, I am going to have some when um, champagne. I am going to serve chicken and meat with rice and salad. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, um, people, excuse me, I am going to serve chicken and meat, meat with rice and salad. People are going to, to give my presents and good wishes. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So thank you for all the people who participate in this party. Thank you. So this is sham, champagne, wine, wine, champagne rice, rice and salad, rice and salad. The next, excellent. So thank you very much. Let's go with the next team. Uh, here are some celebration in the United States. Who wants to read the celebration? Holidays in the USA, Dias Festivos in the US, in the United States of America. Who wants to read them? New Year's Days, Valentine's Days, Independence Days, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Thank you very much, Julian. So now the next question, when is Halloween in the US? When is Halloween? October 31st, 31st, 31st. Okay, yes, you're right. This was an October. 31st, uh, Valentine's Day in the US, Valentine's Day. When is Valentine's Day in the US? February 14th. Oh, February 14th. And when is Christmas? When is Christmas in the US? <laughs> It's in December 25. 25th, December 25th. Thank you. And when is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day in the US? July 4. 
Yes, it's on July 4th. And New Year's Day? It's on January 1st. It's on January 1st, excellent. So let's see, what are your plans for the next Valentine's Day celebration? ¿Cuáles son sus planes para el próximo día de San Valentín? Or for the next New Year's Day? Or for the next Thanksgiving Day? Do we celebrate this here in El Salvador, Thanksgiving? ¿Celebramos el Día de Acción de Gracias en El Salvador? Casi nadie. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok, some people do. Some people do. And what about Christmas? What are your plans for the next Christmas celebration? ¿Ya compraron el estreno o todavía no? No. No. Ah, ok. Ah, esperando el aguinaldo. Lo, lo que probablemente sí ya compraron es el disco de Aniceto Molina. Decidió. With cumbias. La chanchona. Ah, ok. La, la hermano Flores. Ok, excelente. Uh, so let's see. Here are some plans. The making plans. Haciendo planes. So look at this. Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I am going to go to a party. I am going to wear a Halloween costume. I am going to ask for some candies and chocolates. I am going to say trick or treat. So any new vocabulary in this small reading? Making plans. New vocabulary, new words. A word that you don't know the meaning. Trick or trick. Trick or treat. Uh, this is an expression that the children use when they ask for candies and they say dulce or truco. So that is the meaning of this phrase. Any other new work? What about this one, custom? What's the meaning of custom? This phrase ring. I am going to wear a Halloween custom. Voy a utilizar un disfraz de Halloween. ¿Alguna vez se han disfrazado? Porque se los pidieron en el trabajo o salieron con sus niños en la colonia. Never. Never, teacher. Never. Okay, so Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I am going to go to a party. I am going to wear a Halloween costume. I am going to ask for candies and chocolate. I'm going to say trick or treat. I volunteer to read this small paragraph. Who wants to read these plans for the next Halloween? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Ron. Okay, Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I'm going to go to a party. I'm going to wear a Halloween costume. I'm going to ask for candies and chocolate. I'm going to say trick or treat. Thank and... you so much. Yes. Okay, continue. Okay, great. Thank you, Juan. Thank you very much. So let's see. Uh, wear. I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear a Halloween costume. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say trick or treat. Thank you very much. Let's see the Teacher, next one. Perdón. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significaba trick or treat? Ah, it's expression dulce o truco. When the los niños knock the doors in the Gracias. United States, they use this phrase to ask for candies. Para pedir dulces, ellos utilizan esa frase. Trick or treat. So let's see the next plant, Christmas. Christmas is going to be on December 25th. I'm going to cook a delicious dinner for my family. I am going to invite some friends too. 
we are going to have a dancing party. So, ¿quién cocina en Navidad? ¿A quién le toca cocinar para toda la familia? My mother. Oh, your mother. Your mother. The grandmother. Ok, so probablemente ya tenga este plan, ¿verdad? Para la próxima Navidad. I am going to cook a delicious dinner for my family. Voy a cocinar una cena deliciosa para toda mi familia. And, I, and also I am going to invite some friends. Y también voy a invitar a algunos amigos. We are going to have a dancing party. Después de la cena, ¿verdad? We are going to have a dancing party. So any volunteer to read these plans, please? For the next Me Christmas. Teacher. Thank you very much. You can start, please. Christmas is going to be on December 25th. I'm going to cook a delicious dinner for my family. I am going to invite some friends too. And we are going to have a dancing party. Thank you very much. So dinner, dinner, the, a delicious dinner and invite. I'm going to invite some friends. Thank you very much, Brenda. You did an excellent job. Let's, let's see the plans for the next San Valentine's Day. And it's a San Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I am going to take my wife on a date. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant. I am going to buy her some beautiful roses. So St. Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I am going to take my wife on a date. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant. I am going to buy her some beautiful roses. Any new vocabulary in this small paragraph, in these plans? No new words, no new vocabulary? Signed. Let me see what is it. Saint. Saint. Oh, Santo, Saint, Saint Valentin Days. Eh, ¿Qué significa eso? Santo eh, Valentin, ¿qué? El día de San Valentín, San. El día de San Valentín. Any other word? Okay, then uh, who wants to read this small paragraph for you to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cynthia. San Valentin's Day is uh, going to be on the February 13th. I'm going to take my wife on day. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant I'm going to buy her some beautiful roses. Thank you very much. Thank you. So 14th, 14th. It's going to be on February 14th. And I'm going to take my wife on a date. Voy a llevar a mi esposa a una cita. Vamos a visitar nuestro restaurante favorito. Y le compraré unas. What is the meaning of this? Bellas rosas. Una bella rosas rosa. besas. Una, una rosas muy bellas. I'm going Rojas to or rosadas. Sí. Oh, red or pink. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very nice. Okay. Empiecen a hacer ya sus planes para el próximo San Valentín. No, no se lo gasten todo en Navidad. Okay, now let's see. And the last class you asked me about this, going to reduction. In pronunciation, right? In pronunciation, we have the option. Oh, let's see, in the United States, people used to change going to by the sound gonna. But that is an informal context. Let's see, it is only in spoken English. We use gonna instead of going to in informal context, especially in speaking in, in song lyrics. When people is speaking or in a song, they use to say gonna instead of going to. So look at this, are you gonna have a party? 
Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with my friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. So, gonna, that is the sound, gonna. Es para que, yes? Para Espérame. usar así como dijo el gonna, solo se, se escribe, se diría, are you gonna, el tú ya no se menciona. Ya no se menciona, el gonna reduce esto, going to. Esta expresión going to, las dos palabritas se pronuncian como gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna sí, go lo, out with a friend. Yes? Lo que dice ahí en especial es de que más que todo se usa solo en las canciones. In, in speaking. In two situations it's most common. In speaking, hablando. Cuando es el inglés hablado. En el inglés escrito, generalmente se escribe going to. Es lo correcto, es lo formal. Eh, going to, entonces casi nunca lo van a ver escrito. Pero cuando las personas están hablando, sí, they say gonna. Instead of going to, en lugar de going to. And also we can find this in song lyrics. En las letras de algunas canciones. Gonna. So let's make a o practice. O sea que puede escribir el going to. Y aunque, lo, aunque pronuncie gonna en vez del going to. Yes. Yes. Uh. So can Maybe. you can see, notice the reduction of going to, to gonna. And here we have, we have this video in the platform, right? And let's see, let's see the next practice. Let's make the next practice. Who wants to read this using the sound gonna instead of going to? A volunteer. Me teacher. Thank you, Katherine. Cheese. Gonna dance at the party. The next one, please. They are gonna eat a lot. The next. We are gonna spit with our friends. He is gonna sing at the party. I am gonna cut the party cake. I am gonna drink wine. Excellent. Thank you very much. So if you listen, instead of say she is going to dance at the party, you say she's gonna dance at the party. They are going to eat a lot. They are gonna eat a lot. We are going to speak with our friends. We are gonna speak with our friends. He's gonna sing at the party or she's going to sing at the party. I am going to cut the birthday cake. I'm, I am gonna cut the birthday cake. I am going to drink wine. I am gonna drink wine. I'm gonna drink wine. So gonna, instead of saying this phrase, going to, we can say gonna. Do you have any question about this? No question. No question. Is it difficult? Is it difficult or easy? Más o menos, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to work in a small group tonight. We're going to have a practice and you are going to share with your classmate the plans that you had for your next birthday. Uh, vamos a compartir con nuestros compañeros cuáles son sus planes para eh, su próximo cumpleaños. So here are some examples. You can say, I'm going to have a birthday party in a restaurant. I'm going to eat pizza. I'm going to buy a cake. I'm going to dance. I'm going to have a pupusiada in my house. So what are you going to do for your next birthday? For your next birthday party? At least you have to say five plans. Por lo menos tiene que decir seis planes que tiene para su próximo cumpleaños. So, two minutes for you to get ready for this. Or do you need more time? Dos minutos para que tenga sus planes. And you say, buy a cake, um, decorate, 
you say buy candies, I am going to buy candies, I am going to decorate, I am going to buy some snacks, I am going to go to the beach, I am going to swim, I am going to dance. So five plans, five plans, and you are going to share with your classmate. Let me know when you're ready, please. Are you ready? No. No, okay. No. Bueno, tiene que preparar cinco planes, ¿verdad? Que va a hacer en su próximo cumpleaños, en your next birthday party. Bueno, o el día de su cumpleaños. Cinco planes que tenga preparados para ese día. Y vamos a compartirlo con nuestros compañeros en pequeños grupos de trabajo. Teacher, ¿cómo se, cómo se dice en inglés invitar? Oh, I'm gonna invite. I'm going to. I'm gonna invite. I'm gonna invite my friends. Teacher, y para decir um, bailar toda la noche. Oh, I am going to dance or oh, I'm gonna dance the whole night. The whole night. Yes. Teacher, y para decir eh, una fiesta temática. I am going to have a theme party. Theme. Ah, uh, yes. El T H E M E. Ah. Theme party. Okay. Thank you. Are you ready? Uh, are you ready? Están listos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. here we go. Let me see. Okay, entonces va a tener five minutes. You will have five minutes to share with your classmates your plans. Y toman turnos en las pequeñas salas con sus compañeros para compartir. Here we go. Hello, Palmore. Good evening. Do you have a problem to enter to the small group? Palmore, do you have a problem to enter to the breakout room?
quiero que digan la otra. Bueno, I am gonna eat tacos. Eat tacos. Ok. Sí. <risa> Ay, Ay, perdón, ya, ya pude arreglar ese problema que tenía. Siempre que decíamos los grupos me saca y me ah. cuesta volver a entrar. Por eso de que no podía hablar, pero ahí sí ya puedo. <risa> ah, pues, okay. ¿sí los uh -huh. your, your microphone, Julián. Your microphone is off. I am gonna. I am gonna drink six beers. Okay, just six. <laughs> I am gonna to eat pizza. I am gonna buy cake. Okay. I am gonna uh, dance all night. I am gonna have a pupusiada my house. Uh, Me copio, yo también tenía. De, ¿Por qué el de que me desconecté? <ríe> Teacher, como digo, voy a cocinar carne asada. Oh, I am going to uh, let's see, asada, asada, what's the what? Roast, ro, ro, roast. Beef. I'm going to roast beef. Ah, okay. I am, Teacher, I'm I'm well, gonna. I wanna. Eh, Ticha, le quería hacer una pregunta desde el, yes. desde el curso pasado, fíjese que siempre que hace los grupos, no sé por qué me saca y me cuesta volver a entrar al grupo, que cuando lo hacemos así en toda la clase no tengo problema solo en los grupos But now you are working very good pero hoy no tuve no, el problema Sí, lo tuve, pero lo pude resolver es que he estado trabajando en eso, viendo qué es lo que me pasa, pero ya lo, ah, claro, ya lo okay. pude resolver bueno, si no, con soporte técnico podemos consultar también. What is happening? Si le vuelve a suceder, me avisa para avisar al soporte técnico que revisen su caso. ¿De acuerdo, Julián? Ok. Ok, so you say I'm gonna roast meat. Voy a asar oh. carne. I'm gonna roast meat. Any other question? Any other plan? Um. I am gonna to have karaoke. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna have a karaoke at home. Okay. Interesting. It is gonna be a fun party. <laughs> if, okay, if you have finished with your birthday plans, you can continue uh, with your weekend, next weekend plans. ¿Qué va a ser el próximo fin de semana? Share with your classmates. You say, I'm gonna. And the plans, right? I'm gonna wash my car, I'm gonna clean my bedroom, I'm gonna paint my house, I'm gonna go shopping. So share with your classmate. Continue practicing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch Christmas movie. Ah, okay, interesting. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna decorate a Christmas tree. It's true. Ok, interesting uh, plan. Hay alguna plan si es Joe Platter. Está bien así o se dice work. Work. I'm going to work, work in... I'm going to work in, in the platform. platform. Ah, ok, in the mm -hmm. platform exercise. I'm going to work. Any other plans? Tell me what are you going to do next week or tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. eh, I am gonna, I, I am gonna watch a football soccer. Ah, okay. I'm gonna watch a soccer match. Soccer. I'm, match. I'm gonna watch a soccer match. Interesting. Tomorrow, Glenda, Cynthia, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am gonna study tomorrow. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna study. Yes. I'm gonna I wake up late. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna wake up late. Me despertaré tarde. Yeah. Más con el clima que está haciendo ahorita. ¿no? <laughs> mm, hay de aprovechar. Okay, very good plans. See you in a minute. Los sigan practicando, diciendo planes, utilizando going to, the pronunciation, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna. 
Sí, van a Ay, tener... Gona. Yo menos. Ya me lo sacó. Okay, teacher. Hello, hello. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Finish. Okay, let's listen, Carla Vanessa. What are your plans for the, your next birthday party? Okay. I am going to eat barbecue. I am going to buy a lot of shoes. I am going to the dance and karaoke. I am going to celebrate my with my family and I'm I am going to ice cream. Oh, I am going to eat ice cream. Interesting ice plants. Cream. Okay. Se acuerda de Claudia y de Miriam cuando ande comprando los zapatos. ¿no? Calzan, del, <laughs> cal, calzan del mismo número. ¿no? <laughs> and Claudia, Claudia, what are your plans? I am going to buy a cake. I am going to the beach. I am going to buy some balloons to decorate my my bedroom. <laughs> okay, interesting. I am going to invite some friends and family. I am going to go out a restaurant. Okay, excellent plans. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to invite us, right? No se le olvide invitarnos. No, no. no. Es, especially to the restaurant. ¿no? <laughs> Comida china. Eh, oh, Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Chinese food is delicious. And Miriam, can you please tell me your plans? Okay. I am going to buy a, a cake. I am going to diner with my family. I am going to eat pizza. I am going to beach. I am going to dancing in the night. Okay, excellent. So you say, I'm going to buy. I am going to have a dinner. I am going to eat and I'm going to go to the beach. Okay, yes. Bueno, nos trae una minuta, por favor. Yes. Y para Carla, un coco. Es a coconut. A coconut, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, what are you going to do? And you say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna study. I'm gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna work all day. <laughs> the whole day. <laughs> uh, and Miriam too, are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Yes, okay, from seven to five or from eight to four. Eight to five. Eight to five. Eight to five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excellent, excellent plans. Thanks a lot. See you in a minute uh, with your classmate. Thank you. You Thank did a you. great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Elena, did you finish? Teacher, me salí sin querer del grupo y no sé qué pasó. Ah, okay, no problem, Elena. They are coming, they are coming with us. Acá vienen ya sus compañeros. Ah, we are almost to finish. Okay, lo siento, me salí sin querer. Okay, don't worry about that. We are here now with us. Hey, hello guys again. How was your practice? How was your practice? ¿Cómo estuvo su práctica con sus compañeros? With your classmate. Very good, teacher. It's great. Okay. Very good. Nice. And did you finish practicing? Did you say your sentences? Your yes. plans? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Let's listen to Brenda Villeda, for example. What are you going to do? for your next birthday? Mm, okay, I am going to go eh, karaoke. Ah, okay. And I am going to go eat my, my favorite food. 
Mm, I am going to buy a balloons. Uh, I am going to buy a cake. Uh, um, I am going to invite my friends. Perfect. So you say, I'm going to buy some balloons. I'm going to buy some balloons. I'm going to invite my friends. Okay. Interesting plans. Okay. Yes. Tengo una duda. ¿Cómo se dice carne asada? Ah, that is roast. Roasted meat. Okay, thank you. Roasted meat. So let's listen, Cynthia. What are your plans for your next birthday? I'm going to dance all tonight. Oh, excellent. I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance the whole night. Okay, do you have any question about today's class? In today's class, we learned how to speak about future plans or plans for our next birthday. Especialmente los planes para nuestro próximo cumple años. So in the same way, you can speak about other plans like I'm going to travel, I am going to visit Mexico, I am going. That is the structure we are going to use to talk about future plans. And also we can pronounce it like gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do homework, I'm going to work on the platform. So if you don't have any question, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you for your punctuality, for your attention, and also for your participation. Thanks a lot. Uh, don't forget, please, to continue working on the platform exercise, exercises. It is important that you finish section number one and section number two during this week. And the next week, we are going to start section number three and the meter exam. So keep working on that, please. Don't forget that. Y no se les olvide, ¿verdad? Eh, con una mano cocinando y con la otra resolviendo el ejercicio de la plataforma. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Pero yes. si, si les queda por ahí un tiempito, por favor, no se olviden que hay que ir completando esos ejercicios. It is important. So, thank you very much. Sleep well. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 bye, bye. Oh.